Hello everyone. I will start with understanding SAP S4 HANA. It will be a main introduction and also the main promises of the S4 HANA systems. First of all, as you know, SAP S4 HANA is an ERP suite. It is based on SAP HANA in-memory database, uh, which is a new database that is implemented by SAP in 2011. It allows to companies to make transactions and analyze business data in real time. S4 HANA is a digital core of the SAP strategies and it enables the customers to undergo the digital transformation. So this allows the customers to be more flexible, more responsive and more resilient to changing business requirements, customer demands and environmental conditions because of the digital transformation. So the SAP S4 HANA system uses the in-memory technology platform SAP HANA which overcomes the technical restrictions that uh, traditional databases has. So these technical limitations are removed. Also, uh, the digital core of the central mission critical business processes such as accounting, logistics, procurement, and sales and distributions are the main processes at the digital core. And also the design of the SAP is based on the core concepts. First of all, the applications are simplified, embedded analytics features are gained, machine learning is implemented, and cloud-first approach is implemented together with the on-premise versions as well. So what are the main promises of SAP? The first one is the simplification of the functionality. As you know, with the advancement of technology, the business requirements increase and the functionality requirements grow over the year. So to match these new business trends, integrated solutions are needed. Uh, so, uh, SAP initially provided mappings of business requirements are supplemented and extended, and some new applications are developed uh, to, to catch with these new business requirements and trends. So, with SAP S4 HANA, SAP is committed to the principle of one, which means that a business requirement is mapped only to one target architecture. The second promise is the simplification of data structures. Uh, as I said at the beginning, in 2011, the SAP implemented the new SAP HANA in-memory database, uh, which, which supplements the technical framework of the traditional databases. In traditional database, as you know, the data was mainly stored on hard drives. Because of the, the limited capacity of memory, this results in some problems. So this limitation is removed with the uh, SAP HANA database and the programming methods for applications run on the memory in-memory databases. SAP S4 HANA uses this database and it leverages these new options and optimizes the business applications to use the potential of this database. So to use the full potential of SAP HANA database, S4 HANA is the uh, main uh, system that can be used. So it increases the access speed and also this results in speed up in the process uh, and efficiency of the processes extensively. The next promise is the simplified user interface, uh, with especially this is uh, one of the uh, new proceedings of the SAP system, SAP S4 HANA system, the Fiori, SAP Fiori, uh, which meets the advanced user interface requirements. So SAP Fiori is an intuitive user interface. It is developed considering the advanced design principles, and it is available on all AMP devices, such as mobile, mobile devices, desktops, and tablets, and also it allows role-based user experience. So using these uh, user uh, interfaces, uh, SAP system is now much more efficient. Another uh, promise is a simplified analysis. We are in an increasingly complex world, and more and more detailed information is needed for decision-making process. So, to provide precise analytical data, uh, it becomes it's always in a challenge, and uh, it has become more and more important in the last years. So, SAP has increased its simplified analysis, and by using the SAP HANA embedded analytics tool, uh, decision-making process will be much more efficient and easier. So uh, in this part, uh, I will talk about the main SAP business functions, including accounting, logistics, human resources, and procurement, which are the digital core of the SAP S4 HANA system. So as a modern digital ERP suite, SAP S4 HANA forms the core of the central business, especially the processes accounting, logistics, human resources, procurement, and marketing operations. 
and uh, customers can use these uh, modules over the SAP S4 HANA or the SAP S4 HANA cloud systems. For the accounting side, uh, the number of processes increases and this results in extreme workloads on traditional ERP systems. So uh, SAP S4 HANA has all capabilities of an advanced accounting system and uh, by using the intuitive SAP Fiori based user interfaces, the data structures are simplified and accounting processes can be managed much more efficiently. Also, the financial functions in SAP S4 HANA support all transactions that are, that are relevant for accounting in logistics and human resources as well. The transactions are posted in real time because of the automatic account determination option and as a result, all logistic quantity transactions and value-based accounting updates uh, can be done in real time and they have the same identical statuses in the system. For the logistics side, with the digital transformation, uh, it resulted in new requirements in logistics and production processes. Especially with the digital transformation, first of all, the products are highly customized, highly personalized products are required by the market, also, supply chain becomes more digitalized and also new service-oriented business models existed in the spare part and repair processing areas. So the ERP systems should manage these new developments in the digital transformation and uh, to match these requirements, switch to the SAP S4 HANA system. The other core business area is the human resources, especially the trend in the human resources is the outsourcing. This is reflected in the human resources, uh, especially the increasing cost pressures and the options provided by the digital platforms. Outsourced business processes to the clouds uh, in the HR area is required by the market. And in SAP S4 HANA, cloud-based functions combined with SAP success factors uh, match these requirements also. Finally, from the procurement side, with the digital transformation, more and more devices and machines become intelligent and linked, uh, become information hubs that are linked to each other. The machines uh, become more advanced using the advanced sensor technologies. The machines can submit their maintenance requirements to the ERP systems. So this resulted in, in a need for automation in purchasing units. Especially material requirement processes needs to be automated. The procurement function in SAP S4 HANA maps all of these common purchasing processes from strategic to operational levels. Also, SAP HANA's integration with the cloud-based Ariba networks and SAP Field Cloud solutions optimizes the electronic and uh, interactive processes extensively over the supply chains.